Control on Hilux, it's not as uh, one of the uh, one of the usual sort of tracks to finish off the day. I haven't got the locker on yet, but thought we'd see how it goes without it. There it is, that's without it. So we want to transform the vehicle in a moment by putting the front locker on. Too much blabbing in that vehicle. We'll turn, we'll turn them off in a minute, they talk too much. See how the front locker just absolutely transforms the vehicle and you don't have to race up here at all whatsoever. You've just got to steer it, whatever. Um, yeah. Steer the car where you want to go. A few rock steps here and whatever, but. much easier with a front locker I can tell you and I've had a lot of vehicles up here and including people with rear lockers and the uh, front locker is the one that does it by far beyond any shadow of any doubt whatsoever it's just unbelievable we'll get some footage once again outside the vehicle of the other vehicles doing that we'll see how they go eh? Yeah, one of the usuals to finish off the day. It's looking pretty flat at the moment, pretty easy. It does change a lot, this track. lockers and stuff how easy is that you know it just walks it up unbelievable righto 150 traction control is going to have to kick in So if you happen to hug that corner tidy, you keep your wheels out of the air, you know, that's all good. Bit of action here. Bit of action for everyone's entertainment. Sometimes they have a bit of trouble here. Lottie track. Lottie. Just make one big long video. Keep you entertained for an hour at least. Or is that going to scare you away if it's an hour and we've got to put it in six, ten minute videos? What's the difference? Let us know in the comments. What do you prefer? Six, ten minute videos? Or just an hour the whole day? Open diffs and no traction control. The Hilux didn't even make it past there. Amazing, I'm amazed. That's it, just keep on it nicely. So you basically got to pick some level ground to keep your traction. Surprisingly well so far. It's done really well. No traction control. It's got a broken ABS sensor. But that's where you have that problem one front and one rear spinning which is a no wheel drive nah 
mate, give it up because you've got no traction. You're just going to have to keep trying different lines. I wouldn't push it that hard. Give it up earlier and um, just try to keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, so what you're going to have to do now is left hand down because you're going towards the embankment at the right. So it's going to have to go, you're going to have to drop it down because you can't get going from there. So yeah, that's it. Go back a little bit more. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Nearly, nearly. That's what I said, right side. Oh, not quite. So hard with open diffs, fully flexed. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> there you go. Hiluxes are unbreakable. <laughs> Bit of a wheel in the air there. Steep, washed out. Too much angle, too far to the right, and then you flex up the vehicle and you're relying on traction control only. Needs to go back and level out the vehicle, bring it to the left. Bit of action anyway. Traction control's happening just slowly. You're going to hold the left rear. Now turn to the right a bit and just give it some more berries. Not working. Okay. Track control on Hilux is not as... Uh... Just wait there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh, there it is. We missed most of the action with that one, but up she goes. Just struggled a bit with the uh, Yokohamas in comparison to the KOs, to be quite honest. I don't see any other. He had traction control. Mate, the other one. Mate, had a grip, mate. Wait there, wait there. That's it, mate. Just keep it going. Smooth on the gas. Keep it going. Perfect line. Beautiful. Just keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep on the gas. Keep it going. More gas. More gas. Keep it going. Beautiful. Keep on the gas. That's it. Cruise up. Anywhere you like here. This is easy. You're all safe. Stay right in the middle over this side a bit probably. Whatever. Don't go up that mound too much. Stay over this way. <coughs> That's it. Just take it nice and easy, but keep on the gas if it uh, starts slowing down too much. If it spins wheels, keep it on the gas. That's it. V6. V6 grunt. There you go. See, 150s, mate. Again, KO2s, mate. 150, KO2s. Mate, good traction control. Beautiful. You can't really go wrong with the KOs and the good traction control. You can even pick the wrong line and the bloody car still goes up. So he's sort of fighting against it, trying to climb up that hill. The hill's going this way. But it still did the job. Yeah, it just it comes in quick, mate. Wheel spins, bang, it's in there. 
little bit of spin and the traction's in there controlling it. And that's it, job done. We're out of here. Butter bing, butter boom. <coughs> well, we'll wrap this up, this one up with a uh, drive back down Oddy and then uh, down to the Greendale pub for dinner. So thanks for watching. Hope you learnt something or found a bit of entertainment, something to fill in your time. That's the kon.com.au front guard. Generally what happens is when you're going down a hill, your front's lower because <laughs> you're under brakes and all the weight's at the front. So the key is, like always, take it nice and slow. Happy days. Thanks for watching. Gotcha.